Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all are doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Now Scorpio, this is your general love reading, so the roles can always be reversed, so keep that in mind. Um, and yeah, so only take what resonates, Scorpio. Apply to your unique situation, to your beautiful heart space, and of course to your intuition, because it will never, ever, ever lead you astray. Um, Scorpio, whatever does not resonate, you know, mm -mm, that is not part of my story. It just wouldn't even make sense. <laughs> Toss it to the side, Scorpio. You definitely do not need it. So I am here to get into the nitty and gritty of your current situation. I like to dive straight in, get straight to the point, and it's in my hope, Scorpio, of providing with you some, you know, understanding, clarity, insight, and of course your confirmation, Scorpio. You see, your situation is going to be very personal and very unique for the collective watching this, including cross watchers. In saying that, let's get started, Scorpio. Let's dive straight in. We'll clear the deck with my three knocks and I will be focusing on current energy check-in. So whether you are in connection or not with your person, um, whether you're on a break, or you know things are going great even better and i hope it reflects in the cards um well, if you haven't heard from your person in a very long time um let's do the current energy check-in and also let's see your energy your person's energy and of course mutual energies and what are changes are coming up so also this could also be family member this could be a friend as well it doesn't have to be romantic but let's find out scorpio please and their person current energy check-in what should scorpio know please for their highest good two more Oh, okay. Oh, we got two highlighted messages. Perfect. All right, what do we have? What is going on? Oh, Scorpio, what did your person do? <laughs> What's going on? Hmm. <laughs> All right. We have here the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. This is about loss, separation, endings, divorce, because I always say here, you know, if we look underneath, this person here is walking away, they've perhaps signed the divorce certificate or they've just received it here. There's been a painful ending here. I'm wondering also if you're, <clears throat> if this is not between both of you, for example, if there was a third party, maybe your person here um, is actually separating or divorcing here from the Divine Feminine, the Empress, Taurus energy. For some of you, there could be children involved or the desire to have children. Um, but I'm really seeing here that there is that sense of that loss from this person, that betrayal from this person, you know, how they conducted themselves. You know, they couldn't have said that one thing or that one deed and it changed everything. It led to this ending here. So, mm. and the thing is though, um, Scorpio, which I find really interesting is that Sometimes the Empress means, okay, well, this has ended, but the Empress gives birth again. So they could be mentally here just kind of lolling over the fact that, okay, this has ended because of me. I've done something here to Scorpio. I really hurt them. They, and, you know, they're very aware here that you're feeling quite betrayed by them. But the Empress here, you know, if there's no children involved, you know, metaphorically, this is about giving birth to the situation once more. Because after all, this is a major arcana. It is the most abundant card in the deck. It's about, you know, the most fertile card, you could say. And it's way more powerful than um, a minor arcana. What else do we have at the bottom? We have Justice. Libra energy, yeah? There couldn't have been some couples counseling or at least just talking to other friends here, family members. The Justice here actually means that, well, the truth is going to come out. This also comes with an apology, um, formal separation, signing of documents, divorce here as well. Um, even perhaps, you know, going to court here. But the thing is, the Empress is coming with that beautiful healing energy about this. It's been very tough here for you, Scorpio. The last few weeks, the last few months, that could be a development happening here also within 10 weeks. Now, I am seeing that Six of Pentacles, mm, Taurus energy. Again, money could be divided here. You know, when the judge says, okay, I'm gonna equally divide it fairly here for everyone. There could be some spousal support. There could be child support here as well. Um, your person could be really holding on to the money in a good way, you know, paying off loans, debts here as well, saving up money, work, you know, just being responsible. Sixes are about healing. So I'm seeing that your person actually wants to provide a bit more of equal give and take in this connection. Um, perhaps, you know, if there was a third party, um, you know, literally committed to someone else, or if it was a family member, a friend, or co-worker that was kind of, you know, a, a, you know, contributed to this Ten of Swords here. You know, I'm really seeing that, um, no, it's equal give and take, but the Seven of Wands is going to be in the middle. This is a Leo energy. So I'm seeing here that you're a little bit defensive over what's happened here. 
yeah, we, we, someone here is separating, someone's getting divorced here, and it's been quite painful. Um, and as a result here, you know, you're standing ground, you know, you're standing your position, you're defending your position. Um, and this is really just all about being assertive. There's no need to argue, but it's standing up for yourself. I see that your boundaries are very tight. You're extremely discerning who you allow back into your circle. Um, even if you still have to communicate with this person, I mean, if your person here is separating, they could be dealing here with a divine feminine um, as well. And the situation is a bit complicated. I am seeing that. But ultimately here, you know, it led to your suffering here. You know, Ten of Swords kind of says when we hit rock bottom in our, in our relationships and the only way to go is up though. But I do see that your person, they're kind of viewing you as someone that's very, very defensive. We've got the sun, my favorite card. Ooh, the sun. I mean, I'm just going to leave that there. That's beautiful. Oh, okay. You're getting clarity about something. The Ace of Swords. So this is beautiful because if there are any challenging cards, um, such as the Ten of Swords, it softens the effect. This is pure joy happiness, bliss, and it's about illumination. The rays of the sun will illuminate everything. Ooh, oh, this is, um, sounds very specific, this reading. So let's get to the head of your reading. What do we have? We have the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, um, and Aries energy. So this is the call to action. This knight is realizing, okay, I need to take action. I need to fix this, this whole mess that's happened here. Um, especially you, Scorpio, it almost feels here towards the end, you kind of got the raw end of the deal, which is why you're so frustrated and angry and you feel very even sad towards this person about what they've done. The Knight of Wands can often represent the knight in shining armor. It's like Mr. and Mrs. Wright. Perhaps this person, you know, had the reputation of coming in and out of your life. They realize now they can't do that. With the Six of Pentacles, both need to be on the same page here. You know, I kind of feel like you were here and they were like, I don't know what I want. Knight of Swords can also represent someone that can be quite impulsive. They do things without thinking. They could have a bit of a hot head, a bit of a temper here as well. But then they'll just say, you know, I'm just a passionate person. Yeah, how's that working out? Clearly it's not working out for them. What else? Page, yeah, so the call to action here is a page of cups. Mm-hmm. So we've got messages coming your way. After all, the knights do represent certain messages and changes, but we have messages of the romantic kind. So, you know, what even started off here as maybe a crush or innocent flirting developed into true feelings. These messages that are coming towards you are fueled by emotions. They are backed by love. It can also come with a very sincere apology and an explanation. I do see your person reaching out to you first. I don't see Scorpio. You, you don't chase people. <laughs> they know that. So I see them chasing you. Mm. Again, you could also be viewing this person as quite immature. And it doesn't matter how old he or she is. It does not matter. Um, some people still need a lot of emotional growing up to do. Yeah. Mm. Definitely could be children involved here with that page of um, cups. Okay, we have the full. Major there for Aries. It's the only card that's unnumbered. They wish to start a new cycle. Why? Because this is unnumbered. It is the first card of the major arcana. Starting again, reclaiming the innocence here of this connection with you. It is about new beginnings. It's about taking that leap of faith. I feel like a person, you know, they could be, I don't know if they are very naive or they're just very brave, but they're going to take, it's a very risky decision, Scorpio, because now you are being very selective who you allow to re-enter your circle, but they're coming towards you. I mean, for them, it's like, this is a risk I'm willing to take for Scorpio, but let's see, what else do we have? We've got the high priestess. Um, this is ruled by Pisces. So your intuition, as always, Scorpio, because I always pick up that you're highly, highly intuitive. You smell BS a mile away. <laughs> um, yeah, your intuition is going to be whispering to you or screaming at you, like tugging at you, saying, eh, you know, this is not over. You know, they're coming back. I think you're feeling their energy here. Um, they might be actually viewing you as a bit of a mystery. You know, in other words, probably they're finding it a bit hard to read you, which is why they're kind of hyping themselves up here, saying, I'm just going to do it. It's going to be, I'm getting a lot of impulsive energy here from your person, especially with the Knight of Wands and the Fool. This is my quiet card. I always say it's my quiet card, Scorpio, because we have you know, knowledge, information, and secrets, which could be in the form of the Page of Cups, they're all going to be revealed to you. Um, <clears throat> so it's, 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 um, I don't think it's a bad thing because I'm seeing very good energy from them, but I will be clarifying these cards. Absolutely. We're definitely seeing connecting here at a soul level. What is the beating heart of your reading? This card affects all the other cards. Is the Four of Pentacles. All about planning, ruled by Capricorn. Yeah. I think one one secret that may come forward, which is not a bad one, is that, well, they haven't forgotten about you. They they have not let you go. In fact, they're a little bit worried here that they're, they're thinking that perhaps you're holding on to maybe a grudge. You're holding on to that pain 
of what you know that, that they caused you listen you have every right to of course and being the four of pentacles always says for your benefit for your well-being scorpio now's the time to release that um, as well just to have a clear mind a clear heart just feel energetically lighter but like i said the fours are all about planning here so i do see that both of you have pulled back your energy your person and you scorpio as well you're being very discerning you're not revealing to this person or to anyone else your true thoughts feelings um your intentions like your next move and all that so i do see here it's a bit of a secret how also your person will be approaching you maybe they don't want to scare you off that's why yeah, this is what they're going to do. Judgment. This is ruled by you, Scorpio energy. Mm, okay. So, uh, you know, if we look at this illustration here, it appears that, well, someone, you know, they're buried, which metaphor for metaphorically, if I can say that word, metaphorically um, shows that perhaps this connection, it feels like it's dead. It's done and dusted. It's the finality of the totality. But we're seeing someone here trying to bring it back to life. So I'm seeing both of you, but especially your person about you has had a huge wake up call. This is like big, major epiphanies. It's like life changing um, thoughts that your person has here about you. There is definitely unfinished business here. That's why I'm seeing that both of you here are kind of holding on to each other, even though, yeah, you do your own things and you keep your options open. You know, you're not just reserving your entire life for that person. You're just still holding on to each other, still holding on to the past. And now they're coming back to say, can we bring this back to life? You know, can we be lovers again? Can we be friends again? What else? Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. This could also be um, a Virgo and a Taurus. This is my student card. So maybe Scorpio, you or your person um, could be doing some, you know, informal research, going back to school here, um, just expanding your knowledge. There could be an age difference here as well. doesn't have to be. And if there is, who cares, <laughs> honestly, but this is more just to confirm um, your unique situation. The Page of Pentacles, again, is a message that does come with a solid offer, such as can we meet face to face? This is usually my face to face um, communication card. I feel like this is the only way they can read you or to fully express what they want to you know, tell you. But they know here that you're very defensive. You're not putting up with any BS, nor should you. In the near future, we have the Six of Swords. Beautiful. Six of Swords, again, sixes are all about healing, ruled by Aquarius. You could be at a certain distance from your person. Um, if not, they're just feeling that emotional distance. So I am seeing them actually coming towards you or hoping for both of you to meet in the middle here. Um, this is moving on into Karma Waters. It's, you know, it's a rite of passage because we are moving on from the Five of Swords, which shows, well, maybe this was a very one-sided relationship or friendship here. You know, where it was all me, 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 me. What about Scorpio, for example? Um, this could have been very one-sided as well mm. i do wish to move on into karma waters and i'm kind of picking up scorpio a lot of you are thinking well should i move on on my own as well if this person hasn't reached out yeah look at that we've got the hermit virgo energy hard lessons have been learned here scorpio definitely picking up your mm, not talking to this person now if you are talking to this person yeah definitely i'm seeing that um it's kind of like very inconsistent you could say um yeah, hard lessons have been learned. This is all about going within. It's introspection here. Um, it's really kind of just, that's why I sage. I don't feel like your person is going to repeat these same mistakes ever again. Hard lessons have been learned, but the most, um, how can I say, the most influential, the most important lessons have been the most painful ones here. I do see here, you're really good on your own. You're very independent though. What's going to happen though? Knight of Swords, yeah, they're coming towards you. I don't want, I feel like they don't want you to be single anymore. We've got the Two of Cups, Cancer Energy, there's true love here. Ooh, two souls merging together as one, mirroring each other, definitely. We've got the Two of Cups again at the bottom. Ooh, and the world. Yeah, okay, so we have graduating from different cycles now, a difficult, look at that, your person's feeling very stuck here. What's going on? Mmm. We have the lovers, Gemini energy. Oh wow. I'm just I just got the word damage. There has been a lot of damage here. Not from your end, from your person's end. Could be a third party. Look at that three of cups. That is my reunion card there, ruled by cancer. Mm, one more. There you are. Six of cups, Scorpio energy. Blast from the past. This is reconciliation. Yeah, I think both of you here may be quite nostalgic here, really thinking about each other. Let's clarify, please. Scorpio and their person. More about the current energy check-in. We have a highlighted message. Oh, all right. I'm just going to leave those there. Highlighted message from your person. One more. All right. What are these cards? Because clearly they really want it to come out. 
<laughs> oh my god this was the first one this was the second and the third one wow we've got the king of swords aquarius energy so this is someone that sometimes honestly towards the end you probably viewed them as very cold it's like where are the feelings feelings of a brick with this person no this is someone that's coming towards you it's all about communication they could be very blunt here um just very straight to the point clear honest straight to the point communication here about you um and they're talking about facts here such as you know i know that ten of swords happen hear me out this this and this but wow this person really loves you they're certainly not giving up on you i think you may be tempted to move forward on your own but you've got the fastest energy you've got the chariot the fastest energy in the entire deck ruled by cancer this person's very determined here to get their message across to you they want this to be successful you got the sun twice now yeah, you're, you're definitely mirroring each other. And this is what makes it a bit bittersweet, is that you both make each other happy. Is that happiness is with each other, though? Ooh, bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. So not only is there love here, there's a lot of passion here towards you. This person is a go-getter. Yes, this is someone that takes the, you know, the reins. It's my entrepreneur card. Um, they know exactly what they need to do. The King of Wands takes action. I mean, look at the sheer determination on this person's face. It's like, I know what I need to do. And I need to go and get um, Scorpio. We have the Page of Pentacles twice. They're coming here to make you a small offer though. Um, it's like, you might see it as a grand gesture, but I feel like they need to see you face to face. We also have the Moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. So emotions are running very high at the moment. The whole thing of use your intuition, listen, feel your intuition with the High Priestess and the Moon is pretty much screaming at you <laughs> in a nice way, of course. We don't want our intuition to scream at us in a bad way. Um, it's actually telling you, well, th this is not over. Not everything is as it seems. The emotions for you run very, very deep here. Yes, we have internal fears and anxieties here that need to be explored. You may be wondering, they're probably going to hurt me again. You know, they're going to waste my time and all that. I don't see them coming back with any bad intentions at all. Mm -mm. I do see they were consistent before, but not now. Wow. Cla clarifying that Knight of Wands is the Seven of Pentacles. This time they're here to stay. Okay. They may have been very inconsistent in the past, in and out, in and out. Um, someone that you think, I can't rely on this person. The Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy is already telling me they're coming here to stay. This is when they invest now. They want to plant that seed. They want to nourish it. They want to watch it grow. When I And it's also, when I say my wait and see card, um, it's it does fall on your shoulders. Now, this could be a good problem to have. They know ultimately it will be up to you. Um, this is a really, really abundant card on its own. If you want to ask, is this person coming back? You know, they, are they here to stay? Seven of Pentacles says yes. Um, it, this is actually investing in this long term, growing older with you. So it's changed a lot from that Knight of Wands, that very wishy-washy um, energy to that more grounded Seven of Pentacles. Clarifying that page of cups is the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Ace of Swords is all about brand new beginnings. Um, don't forget you also had it in your other deck here as well. Wow. Yeah, you're both mirroring each other. Both of you need clarity. Your clarity is, well, why did my person do that? And how do I know if they've changed? They want clarity from you. You know, are you willing to take me back? Can you take me back? Can you please take me back? You know, this is all about just washing away everything of the moon. You know, if there was any lies, any negativity, all those arguments, it's all washing it away. And now we've got clarity. This is a mental breakthrough. And the Ace of Swords does show a successful new beginning. They're going to make their intentions very clear to you. Um, the Fool is clarified by the Four of Wands, my favorite card for celebration, ruled by Aries. So, yes, this is my Twin Flame card. So this was a very, and it still feels like a very intense connection here. It does show reconciliation. It's coming together. It is celebrating. It shows deep commitment, engagement, also marriage. Like, that's why I was saying. Either you were married to this person. They could have been married to someone else, which that has fallen through. Um... And that's not for all of you though, but I'm definitely seeing this just coming together. That's why they're taking that leap of faith with the fool. They want to see you again. <laughs> this time I feel like they're really here to stay. I don't feel like they're going to go anywhere. Now, like I said, they've had a huge epiphany here. Huge wake up call. Major life changes. High Priestess is clarified by the Seven of Wands. Yeah, intuitively they know here that you're very guarded. But this is someone that knows that they need to fight for you now. They need to fight for this connection. The Seven of Wands always says, now is not the time to back down. Fight for what you believe in, what you love, what you're passionate about. So I'm really feeling here, you may be quite surprised, maybe quite taken aback that not through their words, but through their actions here that they're willing to fight for you. Um, defend you, defend this connection, honor your heart, which I'm seeing they never did in the past. No, 
It's like they're coming back as a brand new person, to be honest. It's like, who is this person? Clarifying the four of pentacles, five of pentacles, Taurus energy. Very interesting. I feel here, Scorpio, a lot of you are finding a bit hard to let go. The fact if we have some abandonment issues from this person, if they made you feel unloved, um, you know, if they just did a runner, if they ghosted you, if they blocked you, if they chose someone else, I feel here, it's, it, that's a bit of a, I wouldn't say it's a challenge. It's something perhaps you have to work through. It's just for your own benefit to feel better, um, not to hang on to, you know, what they did. I am seeing issues of abandonment here. Your person here could be a little bit worried that maybe you'll abandon them. The sock is on the other shoe here as well. But yeah, now clearly at one point, this person made you feel unloved. And I do feel that return, you know, probably questioning it, you know, seven of wands is again, like I said, you know, you could be very guarded here, like thinking yeah, you're coming back just to do this again. So I understand, I do understand, you know, your, um, from your point of view, the judgment is clarified here by the nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. um, that is Virgo energy, by the way. Now, every time I see a reconciliation card on top of my singles card, it's very clear that I'm seeing that your person doesn't want you to be single. It's like, I want what I can't have. And, you know, I, I want it even more, you know. Um, I'm seeing here, Scorpio, a lot of you could be self-employed or thinking of becoming self-employed. This is the card of expansion. It's very abundant. It is the minor arcana of the Empress um, as well. But even if both of you were together and, you know, when you were, you were both still very independent, very resourceful here. Um, but I see here you're really concentrating on your coin. It's almost like, I don't know if I really want to get distracted by this person now. You know, you've got a lot going for you. So your judgment is going to be, do I want this person back or not? And that's going to be your, your final call. Hmm. Clarifying the page of pentacles. The fool again. Yeah, they're taking that leap of faith. They do want to see you. We've got the fool here. We've also got the fool there. Now, with that two of cups, you are definitely mirroring each other. Definitely to a T. So it's almost like there's a part of you thinking, okay, I know here that I feel very, you know, once upon a time, they made me feel very unloved, abandoned. I was outside looking in, um, you know, tapping on the window thinking what's happening. So I kind of feel here that you're probably maybe chewing on the idea when you meet this person face to face or FaceTime, for example, um, maybe you're probably going to entertain the thought of taking that leap of faith here, you know, starting again, this time on a clean slate. That's what the Ace of Swords always promises us. Clarifying the Six of Swords. Oh, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Wow. And look at the roots here. This is a solid beginning. In fact, if you see that Seven of Pentacles, there's a lot of roots there. That's why I said this person is coming back, but they don't want to go anywhere. So they're coming towards you here with that Six of Swords because they want a brand new beginning here. Oh, a solid beginning, not one that is built on sand. That's just very, you know, it's going to wash away. No, no, no. This is a solid beginning here. Oh, Wow, this is, this is interesting. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, coming together, collaborating. This is time your person is listening to you, seeking to understand your side and the pain that they have caused you. Ooh, oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Be yeah, okay, well, this is destined. This is unfinished business. We have your sign in here. We have Scorpio, we've got Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. This is a sudden turn of events, a sudden flurry of activity now, where now both of you are on top of the wheel. Wow. Yeah, look at that. The five of cups. Your person regrets this. And this is also Scorpio energy. I feel here, Scorpio, please do not blame yourself for anything as well. I know you're disappointed in how things wrapped up, how it concluded, your person's actions in the past, how they conducted themselves. I know you are very, very disappointed, but I do see here perhaps you are going to take that leap of faith. Ooh, let me just get some more cards about the ending um, or anything else that you should know, please, Scorpio. There we go, the tour, the tour. What's the tour? I can't even talk. The tower. This is Scorpio energy here. I think this is probably why you are so disappointed about how they allowed this metaphorically, the tower, your relationship to crumble down. Mm, I think it's probably best to do it slow. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the nine of cups, Pisces energy. You are each other's wish fulfillment here. What else, please? What else? the devil capricorn energy you may be tempted i think here there's just a bit of uncertainty here on um your part whoa there we go the four of cups yeah feeling a little bit melancholic here i have a feeling here scorpio that you could be a bit um conflicted here between your head and your heart 
It's like there's a part of you that really wants to go back to this person and there's another part of you saying no. There could have been some toxicity here on your person's side. Um, there could have been like a, a karmic, a toxic ex. E. Queen of Swords. And you've got the King of Swords. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm seeing what's happening here. The Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy, my Happily Ever After card. It's a good card for reunion. I see what's happening here. There's a lot of conflicting energy on your part is the fact that that conversation needs to happen. In fact, if you kind of see it, you know, you're kind of both of you are turning your backs on each other and you're kind of like looking forward thinking, no, I'm just going to focus on my career, not on romance. Um, your head is saying no. <laughs> your heart is saying yes with that 10 of cups. So clearly here, communication is a little bit blocked. It's very weak or inconsistent or there's no communication. The fact that your person is coming back though, I think the best thing to do here is to have that important conversation away from noise, distractions or influence. I feel like that's where you make up your mind because you know, I'm seeing here, it's like, you know, mentally you're saying no, emotionally you're saying yes and you could be going back and forth though because you keep remembering that tower moment when, that, when things came crashing down. But we have a very, very important conversation here that is coming up. And that's when you will make up your mind. I feel like you probably already know what you want to do Scorpio with this person but I feel that once the talk happens <laughs> the talk then I think you'll know more with confidence here on what to do absolutely yeah justice yeah the scales will be balanced Libra energy the truth is going to be revealed clear-cut communication do not worry Scorpio things will work out in your favor I will leave this here and I thank you for joining me Scorpio I do appreciate if you hit that like button um, and I will see you in the next couple of days and I wish you the very, very best, Scorpio. Please take care. Bye.